Hello and welcome to the Off-Grid Mountain Homestead. So it's going to be the final biodiesel video for now. I'm going to use the Chinese diesel heater, the Vivor diesel heater. Got a new battery to run it on, a dock repair, 100 amp hour LiPo 4. So I'm going to hook it up to that. I'm going to drain the diesel out, put this homemade biodiesel in that you've seen in the previous videos. If not, I'm going to have the playlist linked in the description of the video so you can go see the whole process of making homemade biodiesel with minimal ingredients. So this is the biodiesel I saved from the Kubota diesel test the other day. I saved about, you know, a little less than a quart to run in this diesel heater. So let me get the, uh, the diesel heater took apart and drain out the regular street diesel and put the biodiesel in and uh, see how she runs. So you can see the street diesel's got that green, green color to it. So I'm gonna get that dumped out and then uh, I'll show you putting the biodiesel in it. So I got the street diesel drained out see the fluorescent green color and then here's the biodiesel i'm fixing to put in and to whoever was wanting to be smart the other day this is for the haters right here that is not street diesel so whoever you were that i deleted your comment you sir are an idiot that is homemade biodiesel that is street diesel if you can't see the difference between that you need to go to your eye doctor so I'm gonna put the biodiesel in the diesel heater. You can see the tank is empty and leaving the street diesel right there for any, any of you skeptics or whatever. So we'll put this biodiesel in this heater. Then I'll get everything hooked up, get the battery up on it and I'll fire it off. All right, homemade fuel. All right, so I got the dark to repair lithium iron phosphate battery hooked up to the diesel heater. So before I fire this off on biodiesel, I'm gonna take a moment uh, to answer the viewer questions. Yes, biodiesel has less power than street diesel, of course. It has more lubricity than ultra low sulfur diesel. You can make it without store-bought chemicals. And the farming of vegetable oils and stuff, that's not necessary to make biodiesel. You give me a wild hog, some oak wood, and some corn, and I can make biodiesel without any ingredients from the store to make true apocalypse, free, zero cost fuel. It just takes some effort. And questions about cost on this fuel. Well, of course, if you buy chemicals in small quantities, your sodium hydroxide, your methanol, things like that, your cost is gonna be higher per gallon. If you had a full setup reactor that would process 30 to 50, 100 gallons or more at a time, your chemical cost goes down. And the recipe I showed you in this whole biodiesel series is a very strong mix to process any oil to give you success on your first batch. Now, if you remember the first bottle in the earlier videos, I used about half of the ingredients that I showed you on the DIY recipe. I was giving you a foolproof recipe. So the chemical usage is actually down and when you learn to titrate, you can even go further down on your chemical usage and chemical cost. Anyhow, it's fired off. The pump is way quieter on biodiesel. Got a couple air bubbles to get out, but it'll work itself out in a second.
No smoke on biodiesel. That's good. Smells like french fries. Only drawback, it'll bring bears in. I hope that proves the point that you can run these diesel heaters on biodiesel. Way better than veg oil in them. That'll give you a bunch of problems and way better than used motor oil in them. That'll give you a bunch of problems too. So easy to make biodiesel. Clean fuel, renewable resource for your diesel heater, diesel powered equipment, etc. And yes, biodiesel also has a different gel point than street diesel. Depends on what base stock you use, what oil you use to where it gels at. Now this was vegetable oil biodiesel and it's been down to 20, 22 degrees and is not gelled. But I had another question in some of the videos. Can you mix the two together? Well, yes, you can. You can even get it commercially available at some gas stations. So if you need a lower gel point, uh, take your street diesel and cut your biodiesel with street diesel. It'll be just fine. No problem whatsoever. That'll give you a lower gel point and uh, you know, help you have better cold weather performance if you're in an Arctic or a cold environment. So I hope you enjoyed the whole biodiesel series. Uh, I can do more on it down the road if, if y'all like this uh, biodiesel or homemade fuel stuff. But I uh, appreciate Dr. Paris and the, the battery. Y'all see this in more videos. Uh, any question or anything, put it in the comment section. I hope you hit the like button. hope I earned that from you. Appreciate you watching the Off-Grid Mountain Homestead. Hope you have a nice day.